get all of you in there. I might have you scoot a little closer to Ron. Scoot a little closer. Anyway. Yeah, for sure. Can I get scoot in a little bit just so you're all there? Yeah, this is good. We have five people on live. Hey guys. Yeah, we usually do live feeds because I can't edit, so we just go to the day. Kevin I likes to that. improv. We, yeah, we're not ready for prime time. Yeah, uh, we just wing. I, I made a couple of videos where we actually like edited and hired a person, and I they, mean, they, they were cool, but nobody watched them, and the amount of, boring. The, the amount of effort we put into them was mm. crazy, versus just wing it. Just, just wing it. Kevin likes to wing it. Know what's going to happen or the exactly. live feed. So... So everybody, this is uh, Ron Landis and Timothy Gratt, and they run the Gallery Mint in Arkansas, in um, Eureka Springs. Eureka Springs, Arkansas. Eureka Springs, it's actually Arkansas. Landis Studios. Landis now. Studios used to be Gallery Mint, formerly yeah. Gallery Mint. And Ron has been making uh, well hubs and dies forever, and the same with Tim here. That's what they do. And um, we are lucky enough. You guys have been. You guys may not know this, but you guys have been using Ron's work. So a lot of the stuff that you guys really love, all these octopuses and seahorses, and this is all Ron's work. And this is the guy who made it all. Ron is from the coin world. So he's real famous in the coin world. He used to do a lot of reproduction coins, U.S. coins, colonial coins, mm -hmm. California territorial gold pieces, and that's sort of how we made our thing. The Gallery Mint Museum was we reproduced coins, and we just didn't knock off the designs. We tried to reproduce the actual processes that were used for a, uh, when we reproduce a coin like a, of an ancient Greek piece. We'd actually hand hammer the piece. And, uh, hot strike it just like mm -hmm. the way we were trying to reenact we're trying to learn how these guys worked back mm -hmm. 2,000 years ago 200 years ago so when we reproduce the coin we try to use the same technologies to best of our knowledge because none of this stuff was written down there are no manuals on how <laughs> to do this and it was an anti-counterfeiting measure yeah you didn't <laughs> You didn't record it. <laughs> I, I, I've but, been pumping <laughs> Ron for information for years. It's so nice to have him out here because I can run ideas by him. I, <laughs> and he's like, yep, that's probably how we... <laughs> right, <laughs> well, and, and like... Yeah, do that. <laughs> yeah, let's <laughs> try that. Well, it, it, with any problem, there's probably several ways of going around it. And, and every shop probably had different mm -hmm. methods. And, and, and not only that, within the shop, it just depends on the project, depends mm -hmm. on the design. Each... Each time you'd make a hub or a die, it has different problems with the way the metal flows, and you have to mm -hmm. uh, uh, shift your uh, recipe accordingly. Uh, Kevin's doing one now with a yeah, very right. deep relief head on a, a mm -hmm. figure, off and center. it's off center. So yeah. you can't, it's tricky because you can't just use a straight cone because it's not going to get into that right. really deep recess mm. off the edge there. So. In my normal method of more tonnage, yeah, that's not Doesn't work. work. <laughs> more bigger hands, bigger hands, bigger hands, bigger hands. Yeah. Exactly. We joke around that we need a thousand pounder. <laughs> because more tonnage will do more it. Tonnage is it's help. it's opposite of what I we keep tell. Telling all our customers, it's more tonnage. You can't get it with ten tons. You're not going to get it with. It's 20. about technique, not tonnage. Yeah, when you hit it with more tonnage, bad things tend to happen. <laughs> That's why they put safety guards around our presses on the day because dies do explode. <laughs> yep. And we will all why. attest. To That's why it's an uncomfortable laugh. Right. Because yeah. the bigger so hammer like, generally is. Sometimes it's the way you want to go. But that is yeah. why, that is the honest reason why we do not sell heat treated hardened steel dyes to you yeah. guys because the risk is it's bad and it's real. So everything you guys have, it's not going to blow up. It'll that you mush, get from us. That you buy from me. It, it'll mush, but you don't have enough tonnage to mush it. You've only got 20 tons. Now, if you decide you're going to put 40,000 pounds of pressure on a half of an inch, 
you well, might yeah, mush it. you can dent the die. But the reality is you're you're not it's totally safe. Yeah. You're gonna be fine. But in order for us to use tools and dies and make these things, we have to use hardened steel. So as mm -hmm. you can see, we've collared things, put collars around them, things that are being driven to hundreds of tons to make these things. There's one of these that's cracked. I think yeah, B is cracked. So Zebra. that collar actually this B is holding it, it together. Keeps, keeps it from exploding apart. Yeah, and it's been used. Hundreds of times. Yeah. Yeah, this is one of your super popular ones. I love that design. So yeah. So we collared it to hold it together because in order to drive it. See, Ron carves a lot of his stuff in the negative. Mostly. Mostly in the mm -hmm. negative. Mike's it in the negative. And that's what I've been telling you guys because a lot of you guys want to make hubs and dies. And I'm like, skip the hub, go right to the die. Then you can just start stamping. And you can do amazing work. All, a lot of this stuff, like I know that most of these were carved in the negative because mm. we raised the hubs for them. Mm. And <clears throat> they're beautiful. And so I like to go back and forth. I start mm -hmm. in the negative and then we raise a positive and then that will allow me to touch it up in the positive. Say like this B for example. It's got, um, it's got <laughs> incuse lines on the wings here. See, if I was to do that all in the negative, I'd have to keep flat planes in between each one of those veins. It'd be about impossible to do. But by going back and forth, I can just get the general shape of the wing in, raise a positive, and then engrave these lines in the positive. So mm -hmm. go by going back and forth, and sometimes I've gone back and forth several times. Mm -hmm. yeah. So like on architecture especially, you can add layers like like for your windows and for your window trim and mm. so forth. There's several different layers that you can add in different, uh, you know, letters have to go in the negative. Uh, so you're not trying to carve around each one in a hub. Mm -hmm. um, I can make adjustments too in the back and forth when we're dealing with the tool and die work because for what we do, we're actually striking coins. So the mm -hmm. centering and all of that is really important for us. So if there's something that we need placed in this, we can offset in the lathe and do all of that to make sure that it's functional for the coin. What we do for our customer base is different than what. Yeah, because the coin people, they're nuts. <laughs> they're nuts. <laughs> they call me and they want things and I'm like, I'm not your guy. We are an ornamental dye company. We are not The coin precision guys. you're looking for is it's not, gonna not be here. <laughs> here. Yeah. Because I get coin guys calling and they're like, you? I'm like, no. Oh, for custom dye work? <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm oh, like, no, yeah. we're not. Don't send them my way. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. I, I usually get people calling and I'm like, no, 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 no. You, you want like, because they, they want things exactly where they want it. They have this vision. Yeah. We don't offer that. We, we make, we make die. As some of you know, we struggle to put the uh, bird in the center of the die. It's, it's a struggle some days. So, but we know what you guys are doing with it. So mm. it's a different purpose. But the coin people, yeah, they call me all the time like, I want to have a coined edge and I want it. I'm like, you need hundreds of tons. No, 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 I think I can do it with 10. No, no, you can't. <laughs> you can't. You need lots of tonnage to get those sharp, crisp edges and frosted bait. I'm like, what about old fashioned looking guys, ancient coins? No, no, I want it to look like mid quality. I'm like, you're talking to the wrong people. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you need to talk to Ron <laughs> and Tim. They know how to do that. You take high tonnage presses and you're, you get, mm -hmm. you, everything's within a collar. And then yeah. now, now striking in a collar is one thing. Now get the coin out of there. That's a, that's a whole nother thing. It needs a whole nother mechanism. Yeah. And uh, so yeah. logistics are, are, are a lot different than just open face mm -hmm. impressions of, of uh, yeah. embossings and so forth. It's, yeah. it's, it's, the dye work is very similar, yeah. but, the, but the method of production is... Yeah, it's an aesthetic choice because, mm -hmm. uh, you know, it, it, some, of the, some of the greatest engraving and, and design and composition is in modern coin. Mm -hmm. It's just mm -hmm. an aesthetic thing. So. When I first saw Ron's work, that's how I met him. I, I was like, I asked him if he wanted to engrave, you know, grave hubs for us. And he was like, and do, what are you guys doing? And do what? And I'm like, <laughs> no, I have we a whole group of people who will love these. And yeah, you guys do. 
it's great because like it took me a few minutes to, to get but yeah. I, but I'm from the jewelry world originally mm -hmm. though before I got into coins I was a jeweler so I still I, I already had kind of a basic understanding of what y'all are trying to do with these and mm -hmm. you know this isn't a coin this is a jewelry component mm -hmm. so so I design them a lot different they don't have lettering on them like a coin mm -hmm. uh, the scales different like mm -hmm. like my first one is it still um, the yeah. dragon yeah right here. One of them, yeah. The first one this is the first one I did. And I thought, I, I kind of wanted yeah, to us. just do a self contained jewelry item. So it's got an ornamental frame around it. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. and it, it sold well, still does. Yeah. It, and it's a, a yeah. nice piece. But I, I later thought it out and I thought, don't include the border on, on new designs because I want to give you more freedom. I don't want you to be contained by that border. Once you be able to, to to figure out your own borders for them, and mm -hmm. and it, I just want to supply a nice strong element for a statement piece, mm -hmm. and then you can mm -hmm. add your own embellishments mm -hmm. around it. And I uh, yep. that was that was actually was, that was this might one? have been the first I think one. That was the first been. one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but again, it was it's kind of framed, and and so my subsequent dies are more open. They're just mm -hmm. they're just a main device. And then you know allow you to, to frame it with mm -hmm. you know other components or other metals or, or however you want to do it. Just gives yeah. you more freedom to yeah. Because then he'll some. always make a left and a right for you guys too, which is really cool. Because <laughs> a lot of times we know you are, how you like it. Yeah. So you get your lefts and your rights. <laughs> I've done a few lefts and rights, and then one yes. one of them is even contained in one die. The seahorses. The seahorses. Oh yeah, the seahorses. I did them both in one because they kind of work together nice as a, mm -hmm. as just a pair together. Danielle wears these all the time. John Jelly's oh, made right. a pair. Yeah. Those yeah. are nice. Those yeah. enameled ones. Yeah. 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 Those are good. Those and then the koi. The koi. The koi. Ah yes, left. These left are great. The koi. Yeah. Yep. And they are different. They are different. They're yeah. Different. No matter how much. Yeah. I, I do this by hand. It's not. Yeah. It's not computer. We're not machines. Yeah. Ron's not a machine. Yep. So he. These are all hand cut. And they're cut like how you'd imagine someone doing it. There's no trickery. There's no. <laughs> this is straight. Just lots there, of work. Hogging it out of well, a Well, I don't use a hammer, but I, but I yeah. do this. I have an air powered graver. I, oh, uh, that's cheating. Yeah. <laughs> no, you <laughs> cheated. Uh, you know, and, and, I, and I did it just by hand pushing for mm -hmm. years and years and years. I finally mm -hmm. got into uh, a Lindsay Palm Control. Steve Lindsay makes. Mm -hmm. uh, nice. it, oh, it's, it's the Rolls Royce of, of air powered engraving, I think. Yeah. And so there's no foot pedal. Everything's right within the handle. There's no learning curve. It works just like my push gravers, except. It's mm -hmm. got a little jackhammer in there, and yeah. I can adjust the, the mm -hmm. power and the number of strokes. And I haven't felt worthy of getting one of those. Oh, yet. you need one. I, I, I pretty much have my. Uh, Thank you. Basically, Fordham jackhammer. Oh, this is a spoof thing. Oh, uh, so yeah, yeah, tool that, will, oh, yeah. that, that tool will improve your engraving. There's no doubt yeah. about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So then we got mermaids. Yep. Got a couple of mermaids. Yep. Here's another one. Another oh, yeah. Mermaid here. Let's Check this one out. It's got mermaid all the kinds of friends. It's got all the critters on there. Yep. Yeah, no merman, though. Mm. Could be next. Mm -hmm. oh. This other one is one I actually I stole that from some Art Nouveau <laughs> designer. I forget who did it. I've used that design for so many years. I, cool. I just, after a while, I just assumed it was my own. <laughs> I, I like your. Uh, Oh, yeah, the wizard, wizard, wizard. Wizard. And then there's. Oh yeah, that was a real popular one. Oh, that's a mm -hmm. left right too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did. The, I did them different though. I did a male and a female. Mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah, these are beautiful. A more variety. But they work together as. I suppose you could do earrings or. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, what's your website? You should give out your website. Oh yeah, our website. We're at randastudios.net. Mm -hmm. And you can also get there at landispicks.com. Mm -hmm. We also we make a uh, an exclusive line of sterling silver finger picks for playing banjo. Mm -hmm. And uh, so this is the ones I use. 
So Man, guess what's coming, guys? Ron and Tim are actually going to offer stampings in silver and copper yes. from these and and stuff that we're gonna, they're going to get a line of stuff together so that you guys because I know there's a big demand for stampings and we just are not set up to do stampings. We can do them occasionally, but these guys are, they've stamped. That's they they don't make hubs all day like we make dies all day. That's what we do, but they make stampings. So they are set up to do stampings. Mm -hmm. And they're going to start running silver stampings of all this stuff so that you can buy a stamping and, and use it in your jewelry. In copper. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're going to, they're set up to do it. And gold, can, too, on request. We can, yeah. I don't see why not. Sure. Sure. We want gold and the Whatever you yeah. want. Yeah. So that's all going to be available to you guys. And I'll be putting links up when they're ready. So we'll put links up to their site. And um, you'll be able to get maybe packs of 10 of the copper and... So that I mean, you can mix and match, mix and, match and use this stuff ones. because I know some of, some of you guys don't have presses and sometimes even you just want to buy them by someone else. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, if you want, uh, like, especially if like you get a a job or something, you need you need fifty of them. You got you got right. a big order for fifty of them. You don't want to press each yeah. one by yourself. Mm -hmm. Just have us right. have us produce some of our because they're going to press them with a lot more time. Once we're set up, blow. we can just bam, 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 and get mm -hmm. and get them down to where it's. Because yeah. uh, where's that skull? I know that was like the struggle bus. The, the big one. one. <laughs> Everyone's like. So like, if you guys want stuff like this, that's I think some of our initial offerings are going to be geared towards kind of the stuff that is over mm -hmm. capacity for most people. Yeah. That way we can kind of steer towards this bigger. Well, this is kind of sure. I know some difficult. of you guys are successful. Oh, sorry. I know some of you guys are successful on these things, but some of these are these are ambitious. These are ambitious. Yeah. I've seen <laughs> some really nice impressions coming from parts that of people. Right. Yeah. yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. yeah. That's my favorite yeah, one. Yeah. It's pretty it's, cool. It's always a I, striking. It, it didn't crack or anything. Um, I collared it because I was chicken. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh my god. It's we're like literally turning something inside out. It won't yeah. crack now. I know that thing around. It. There was yeah. a fellow using actual human skull. He bought scientific human skull and was making jewelry. With oh it. my He's gosh, I do remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, Is that rich? I don't. I'm I don't sorry. I don't remember that. Maybe some, somebody can chime oh, in. But it, and it, no, it's like all legal scientific <laughs> uh -huh. human skull, and he was incorporating it into the I jewelry. I do remember it that. It's pretty fantastic. Like. I know that's kind of taboo for some people, but I oh. thought it was really exceptional. No, that's neat. Yeah. This is pretty cool. Buffalo. Buffalo. See the scale. Yeah. Yep. This is a great buffalo. Yeah, we've done some embossings of that. Mm -hmm. oh, I love nice. this Indian. And that's actually where the skull came from. Uh, I we. If you if you look real close, I mean they're identical in size, and so we I just I think you made the hub for I it. I did, and then I just recarved it into a skull. I just mm. took off all the skin and hair and feathers, and mm -hmm. it was just hiding underneath that just whole hiding time. Underneath, but yeah. So we actually Landa Studios does an art metal that incorporates these two, and it's actually embossing. So when we strike the coin, the uh, skull in relief is actually acting as the push into the Indian head. Whoa. And so when you flip it over, we actually refer to it as the Indian x-ray because on one side it has <laughs> the Indian head and when you flip it over it's the skull and wow. the embossment on the back. Oh, cool. Inside out. Amazing. Yeah, so oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's cool. This one. Yeah. Oh, yes, this is, this this is, is pretty famous. famous. Uh, it's it's sure. based off the peace dollar. <laughs> That's where the rays are coming in. And I did a Grateful Dead coin based off of that. And uh, it's it sort of, uh, with Grateful Dead icons, uh, there's a uh, the figure of Bertha. This is her, literally. Oh, that's her. <laughs> this is Bertha. Right there. <laughs> and so I did, I did uh, what I call the, the Deadhead commemorative coin. And so I morphed bertha into lady liberty so it's it's a mm -hmm. combination of miss liberty on the peace dollar and bertha yep it's got the roses yeah mm -hmm. and the rosebuds yeah 
Yeah, this has been a real popular design, and right? It, it's probably been our most popular coin. Actually, we, in studios. fact, we just we yeah. just delivered a hundred of them to a, a guy who marketed someone. Oh, we have cool. someone commenting said, "I sell every single piece I make with that." Oh, nice. cool. that's great to hear. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Well, oh. we know how deadheads are. Uh, yeah. <laughs> here's here's a comment that ties into what we were talking about at lunch. It said it looks like hobo coins carving. Mm -hmm. Well, that's that's what I do. Ron's famous uh, for that. Yeah. In fact, that's what that started out to be. It was a, it was an altered coin. It was a, a, a peace dollar that I carved into a skull, and I've done different versions of it. <laughs> One I did for uh, Hillberry Music Festival, and I and I altered the lettering. From Liberty to Hillberry, and so I've done different versions of it, and that's exactly what it was, like a hobo nickel. Ron can show you how to take a nickel and turn it into something that sells for six thousand dollars. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I have, I have done it. <laughs> he, yeah, he makes amazing hobo nickels. He's world famous for hobo nickels. Uh, I've I've been doing it longer than any living person. And the original Hobo Nickel Society, I think, would have. I think uh, one of the president it sort of dubbed me the grandfather of the modern uh, hobo, hobo nickel, nickel movement. Mm -hmm. And that's because that's I, I, I changed the honor. market. I, 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 instead of doing $5 novelties, I was trying to bring up. <laughs> trying to elevate the bar, it. Elevated into metallic art. And it mm -hmm. caught on. Now there's hundreds of, of carvers out there carving nickels these mm -hmm. days. Yes. Uh, we're actually okay. looking at the this Indian head nickel and both of these designs. Um, jewelers love to dap them and use them for buttons oh, and cocks sure. and stuff like that. Well, we're thinking of doing one that's actually a dome strike, so you don't lose any of the strike when you dap them because mm. it can round the mm -hmm. devices, mm -hmm. but actually strike them pre-dome so you get an oh. absolutely full relief. That's interesting. And use them for everything, bolos, belts, you buckles, guys are so thoughtful. triple B, whatever. <laughs> I yeah, tell that's them a real popular yeah. uh, accessory for. I mean, leather workers use it for buttons and uh, yeah. Hat bands if that's and, something people are interested in, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's oh, been yeah. on our, we have a couple ideas, but it's been on our list. Somebody lets time. us know that you know if there's a market there and you need 500 of them, we'll get right on it. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get on it. If I spent all day just doing what I thought was cool, I. Not sure I would eat lunch every day. So. I Kevin says that all the time. <laughs> we do it anyway. Yeah, I know. I try to convince people what I think is cool is cool, yeah. but I've discovered. <laughs> look at us. We're both wearing overalls. It's <laughs> hard to get in fashion. Someone has asked we're where yours are because it's hard to take exactly. you seriously you from these you guys. Don't know where, sorry. <laughs> we're not wearing them ironically, as my son yeah. is saying. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're legitimately wearing them. I do. It's the only way I've been able to keep my pants. So. Yeah, that's, that's exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah, I've been seeing people wearing them. And I'm going, uh oh, I'm gonna oh be, yeah, I'm going to be on trend. You're going to be fashionable. Brianna would say I'd be on. I'm on trend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, check this one out. This one's pretty neat. It's a face one. What I like about these too is that you can use the individual elements. Mm -hmm. Exactly what I was saying. Yeah. It's, yeah. You could, yeah, you could make a big pendant or or a pair of earrings lid. with your uh, with the with the. But then you cut out the Saturn. separate the individual elements. I mean, look mm -hmm. at the detail in the flame there. Yeah, it's cool. We took the time to make the stars nautical. They're not just mm -hmm. sparkly. They're, you know. Yep. So yeah, this stuff's going to be available. And you guys are going to be, like, today, you, if you guys want dyes of all this stuff, it's going up, like... Three minutes. In three minutes. Every single, like, we never do this. Ever. Everything. Yeah, never. But we so it, it happened once. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but there's never a chance where you can get it all at once. Yeah. But since Ron and Tim are here, we're like... We have to. You guys will probably want this since, you know, we get to talk to these guys and hang out so all this stuff and we really need gas money to get <laughs> gas, <so. laughs> gas prices are just really yeah, high gas so. prices are really <laughs> high it'll just get near yeah so. um they'll be up for 24 hours yeah. so it's a a flash spotlight yeah so it starts so. at two o'clock p.m arizona time today and it's available for 24 hours so it's all available so you should definitely if there's something you like i mean 
the reality is we just can't put everything up all the time. It's just we don't have the manpower. We don't have the metal to do it. I'm. It's just, you know, like I said, it's just hard to do. But we're going to put it all up today. And I don't know how they managed to do it, but they've got all my dies in one in one box, mm -hmm. in one area. It's rarefied earth right there. Yeah. That is, yeah. With, with the millions, literally millions yeah. of dies in the Potter collection. You were yeah. able to keep this all over. Oh, yeah, this is pretty cool. We forgot about this one. Oh, yes. That's my... This was the hardest thing. Oh, this, I remember. This was pure heartbreak. So... Ron spent like a zillion hours making this and he made it in the negative and then I had to raise a hub off of it so I did and then we used to have maniacs heat treating it wasn't us <laughs> um, and they broke it and I'm like what you 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 know like really you <laughs> repeat broke it? this they broke the die it was hard they broke the master die and then I collared the master die, and then I raised this, and they broke this too. And but we that it all survived, and everybody's been able to get one. And I actually did make us a backup. Still holding up. It is, but I've already made us a backup. Oh, you did. Oh, oh yeah. Good. Okay. I'm not a maniac. Oh, all right. <laughs> We live in here. Contrary to your beliefs, no. plays were on, on live Yeah, no. TV. We this whole my whole business is based on fear. We 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 make backups for our backups so that I'm never left hanging because I can't make that. So no. if it's something I can make, we'll play hot and loose with it. I can't make that. Right. So no, we don't play hot and loose with that. Yeah. Yeah, I use that that uh, angler fish for mm -hmm. my band logo too. We yeah. have a bluegrass band called Sprung Billy. We use that for a logo. Yeah. So we have t-shirts of that too available. Yeah, you can get t-shirts. <laughs> and you, can, you still sell the hats? Uh, we do. Uh, we're running a little low, but yeah, we land a stick <gasps> hats. We got them in uh, green or in blue denim. I have two other green ones that I oh, just cycle yes. through. <laughs> mm -hmm. But yeah. So there's like a there's like a story of of struggle. <laughs> Usually on my part, on every single die. There's always the story of struggle. You got it down now though. Yeah. Or well, we're all learning. I mean they this didn't is make something a book. you know. No one they wrote did, this down. They did not make a book. I think we're actually breaking new ground. We I, should write a I book. So. Yeah. Oh hey. Well, I, used I to came be up with some things that were amazing and I remember telling um Peter and I was like, Peter, and he's go, he's sitting there thinking about it, and I show him, and he goes, "It's like you've discovered the cure of cancer, but everybody's dead already, so it doesn't <laughs> matter." Because yes. I figure out this good. way to reproduce dyes like instantaneously, and, and everybody could use all the dyes. It was like a little system I made for injecting wax into metal molds, and he's like, "Oh my God, this is brilliant, Kevin." And he goes, it's like you've discovered the cure for cancer. This could have saved the whole industry, but it's all dead anyway. So at this point, it don't matter. And I'm like, yeah, you're right. <laughs> like, we're all dead at this point. Came up with this little system, and I'm like, hmm. That's the end. Sometime in the distant future when we're all in flying cars, someone yes. will reinvent the wheel. Yeah. They're all, look at this. It rolls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, why don't you play us a song and we'll just. Oh, uh, yeah. We so you guys are going to request. Daniel requested I, pl I play some music, so I brought my banjo out. And I've got my Landis banjo picks here. To play them. Demonstrate their Their use. Ron's really good. Yeah, you can't make a little dude, it's because it's so fun to play the banjo. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I love it. Thanks. Uh, this stuff will be up shortly, guys. Take it's it easy.